Investigating multiple bomb threat scares in the Red Bluff area today. They tell us someone called a Red Bluff hospital making multiple bomb threats, one at the county courthouse, the other at Red Bluff High School. Action News Now reporter Tori Apodaca tells us how law enforcement responded to the threat. It didn't really feel real. Krista Helser describing how the school day took a turn after the campus was placed on lockdown for a bomb threat. I wasn't especially nervous because I've been in a lot of lockdown situations, but I remember a couple kids crying and other things like that. The school quickly let parents know about the threat and the lockdown. Our buses uh, came back and then we released our students who rode the buses. Uh, our students who drove cars themselves, we released them um, first so we could get the parking lot freed up. And then those who are walkers, we just confirmed um, with their parents on the phone um, that they could walk home. The courthouse also targeted in the threat. We're looking for anything that's out of place, uh, out of the ordinary. We're also looking at video surveillance systems that we have internally and externally of the building to see if anyone could have accessed any public access areas of the facility without our knowledge. A worker at the gas station just across from the courthouse also received a call about the threat at around 7.30 a.m. And in the past, we have had these type of situations at the old courthouse, so we have a really good protocol and plan in place. As for the school, in times like this, let's just you know, let's choose to be safe, uh, err on the side of caution, and go ahead and, uh, and release our students. They were responding fast. It wasn't like it was going to take us ridiculously a long time to get all of the students out of danger. The Red Bluff Police Department was out at the high school investigating all morning, and the sheriff's office was at the courthouse, but neither found anything suspicious. In Red Bluff, Tori Apodaca, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Both departments are working together to find out who that caller was. We'll bring you more updates on air and online. Now,